Don't use the pulpit to make political statements. Don't use the pulpit, God's pulpit. Don't use it for political expedience. Preach the word in season and out of season. Don't take sides with political parties. Pray for all of them. Love all of them. You are called to the ministry, not to political powers of government. Follow scriptures. You will see things you don't like. You will hear things you don't like. You will hear speculations about things that are wrong, unrighteous, going on in your country, in government, in places. Don't use the pulpit to discuss those things. Preach the word of God. Don't leave the ministry and become a politician. You are not called to politics. You are called to the ministry. So be a minister. Some of you will become very powerful. You will raise the dead. You will see the eyes of the blind open. You will see signs. You will see wonders. You will see people's walk. You will build cathedra. You will do great things for God. You will have following. You will become a powerful voice. You will curse and it will stand. You will bless and it will stand. But none of those things makes you a politician and never leave the office of the bishop to follow another voice and become a politician because you have following and you have influence. People will try to use you, politicians, businessmen and women, influential people who have problems with powerful people and they'll come and hide behind you. They will infect you with their pain and bitterness and provoke you to use the puppet to attack people. The puppet is not to attack politicians or governments. It's to preach the word of God. Preach the word in season and out of season. There will be times when you will be hurt you'll be offended and you'll be hemorrhaging and bleeding and you must still stand in the pulpit to preach the word of god and not your pain not your offense not your disappointment not your confusion people don't come to church to hear your pain they come to hear the word of god so preach the word